Okay. Okay, guys, we're recording. Uh, okay, what I'm doing here is I'm going to sort of take the Apollo 13 approach and essentially build a ventilator out of parts at home. If somebody's way out somewhere they can't get to a hospital or you need a portable ventilator because you're really sick, this will help. And I say basically I'm just trying to use homemade parts. I've got a five gallon bucket, which most people have, a bleach container, a coffee can. I've, I've cut the bottom of the coffee can. I've used a tin coffee can. Uh, okay, don't use a cardboard one because it will disintegrate. Uh, a few water bottles. Um, we're going to need, uh, uh, if you've got a couple of wine corks around, get a wine cork with a drywall screw and a little nut on the bottom. And we're going to use a water bottle. Drop that in there like so. That will actually work as your one way valve to let the air out. Okay, without further ado, let's go. I gotta cut the bottom of this out. Don't cut yourself while you're doing this work. Now essentially, we just need to cut the bottom of this off. Make sure you wash everything thoroughly. Uh, you're going to need a piece of garden hose. Uh, basically, a lot of the RV garden hoses are potable. They're, they're a white hose. You need about, I don't know, cut yourself about nine feet off a garden hose. Uh, okay, next. How's this going to fit in here? How's this going to fit in here? Where's it going to fit in this side? Oh, look at that. That fits in. Wow. You couldn't ask for better fit than that. Look at that. Okay, now let's. Can we get this label off here? Let's see if we can cut this label off without damaging it, right? Alright, now get that started. Okay. Now essentially, the coffee can is three liters and change, and so is the bleach container. Uh, humans have a lung capacity of approximately six liters, so essentially we're going to be using about that much for the uh, pumping action. That's going to be our chamber for pumping our air into our ventilator. Very simple, two pieces. You can use three two-liter pop bottles and just tie them all together into one. Now fit in so you can do your pump action. Okay, now uh, get yourself some Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape's the best. This stuff is really strong. I'd recommend it if you don't have it. Whatever you got, even scotch tape will work. Um, painter's tape will work. Uh, any kind of tape. The Gorilla tape is nice because it really holds on well. 
Let me see if this is going to be used for any amount of time. This is going to be good. Okay. Okay. That's done. It's done. Okay. That's not bad. Now, um, the garden hose. I say, if you can get a potable water one, that's better than you won't have that. You know, when you're a kid and you would drink water out of the tap, you get a vinyl taste. Well, you won't have that if you use a one that's potable water. So I'm just going to put that on top. Now, there's a couple different things we can do. We can actually maybe use the lid. Yeah, maybe use the lid to get a better seal. Uh, yeah, let's do, do that. Get a little better seal on there. Okay. So we just need to mark that. I should see when the mark you just and be really careful you don't cut yourself because there's already enough people in the hospital. You don't need to be going to the hospital with a cut during this pandemic. So slow and steady wins the race. There we go. Get yourself a work surface to work on. It's much easier than trying to work on the ground. I'm a tall guy, so just it's a lot easier. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I gotta drop it around for that. about that let's keep taping uh, maybe some snips all right yeah we've got some tin snips sometimes it's easier to cut these Good. Let's see, that'll give us a more robust. That'll give us a more ro robust seal. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Okay, now. Yeah, actually, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Okay, now. Uh, if you didn't do a really good job, or even if you did do a good job, put a little tape around it. I'm using some electrical tape. Uh, dry it off, make sure everything's good and dry. This looks a bit dirty, but it's not. It's all clean. That was all uh, bleached with water, so I mean, that's good. Okay. Now you're going to want to get yourself like a broomstick or something that you can hold on to when you're using the pump. Okay, if there's any interest, maybe I'll do a video on a powered one. I'll hook up the power. I'll make the thing pump. I say there was a video, there was a video on YouTube where some family kept a guy alive for like a year just using a rubber one. It's like pretty crazy. But Anyways, this is basically manual, but I say I can upgrade it to um, sort of an electromechanical one if there's any demand for that. Let's put those together. I'll get on there. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Let's 
put a little tape around that so it can't come unscrewed. I'm just going to hook that underneath the handle there just so it can't come dislodged. So, so essentially you can work it like that. Now, um, let's fill this guy with water and see how we're doing. Somebody's sounds like somebody's breathing. Okay, very good. Now that's the simplest and quickest. Now what you can do, if you have a funnel, just get a funnel and stick it in there. And I say I made a valve out of a wine cork, drywall screw and a little nut just to keep that thing loose. So here we are. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And that's it. That's the first part of the ventilator. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another valve and basically, because this, this is pulling up holding the suction under here while I'm doing this. I mean, this is okay for, for a quick thing, but if I make another valve, then that'll release and it comes up so it'll be much more efficient and easier to use. But, Sign off. I'm going to post this right away to, just, just to get everybody rolling here. I say, whoop, my valve. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. Actually, what I'll do is I'll give you a quick update. I'm going to make your valve. You use two water bottles. You know, you cut your cut your water bottle in half. Get your wine cork. Drywall screw and a little nut. The little nut is just to kind of 
weight the bottom of the cork to seat it. You have a nice venturi that will seal up with a water bottle down below. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but you don't want the you don't want the cork getting anything stuck. But and if you have a little bit of metal, it'll it'll rattle a little bit loose. So um, yeah, I don't know if you can. Let me try this here. See if you can see this. Just so you can I'll demonstrate how this is going to work. Okay. And anyways, after you got your one wine bottle, you can fold this over. And there now you have a complete you have a complete valve that you can use. And I say this this is going to be the heart of, of your ventilator systems. You can see that working. I say just tape. And just with a bit of tape. You can tape this up. That's how the valve is going to work. And you just put that in line and keep it upright. And so we're going to put another valve in here so we so you don't have to the suction the water pulling back. And we'll run that one upside down, upside down and in like so. So essentially it will suck in and then pump out. So you won't have a you won't have to break the vacuum every time. So anyways, that's it. I'm going to post this so you guys, you know, that'll, that'll help you guys with making like a homemade valve here. But, but I say it's nice to have a little bit of weight on the bottom there with the nut, just to keep the thing seating perfectly every time. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go post that and we'll come back. Thank you. Okay.